21. Matthew chapter 15, verse 18 to 21. If the world hates you, he knows that it hated me before it hated you. If he were of the world, the world would love his own. But because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. Remember, the, remember the way that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his son. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my sin, they will keep yours also. But all these things will they do unto you for my name's sake, because they know not him that sent me. If I have not come and spoken unto them, they have not, they have not sinned, but now they have no proof of their sin. Amen. 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 So, at the time of William Tyndale, he was killed. I see it's not, I saw for you to move. And the Lord here is saying, his own words, that if they persecuted me, they will persecute you. And Jesus said, I am correct, they put on a shine, it's just a good thing. Today we have a healthy world gospel. I see that I never know what they are super free. We're going to have a nice car. I see that we're going to have a nice car. We're going to have a nice bridge. We're going to have a nice car. We're going to have a nice life. What happened to William Tinder? What happened to the Lord? The more you serve the Lord, the more you are on fire for God, the more kickback you'll have, more persecution. Try it! Burn in the fire! Try it! 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 Try but there's a story of a guy who goes to the doctor. And he said, Doctor, I'm worried, I'm worried, I'm worried. I said, Doctor, I'm worried, I'm worried. The doctor said to him, Are you a man or are you a mouse? I said, Doctor, can I tell you if I'm a woman, bro? We're going to be men today. I said, I'll see you later. No, they're mice. They say, Yes, they do, bro. Somebody in church. Gossips about you. You don't go to church, the pastor told you. I said, I don't want to say no so far. Why are you in church? The pastor did it. He did gossips about me. I said, I don't want to say no so far. You can't go to church. You can't go to church. You can't go to church. Are you a man or are you a mouse? I said, I'm in here. You still go to church. Does it matter if they gossip? Or someone shouts at you because you gave a leaflet to Jesus on the street. Or you preach the Bible, you get down off the pulpit, and people are only to hear the pastor said this hell. We don't like hell. But you know, 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 you you know, 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 you But Jesus hid himself and went out of the temple, going through the rest of them, and so passed by. Okay, they tried to stone him. Yeah. John 11 verse 8. John chapter 11 verse 7. His disciples say unto him, Master, the Jews of late sought to stone thee and goest thou in again. John 13 27. John chapter 13 verse 57. And after their soup, Satan entered into him. Then said Jesus unto him, that, that thou doest to be. So they stoned him, Judas left him, and plotted against him. See, you see, you go, what you say? So, and John 19 verse 4. Now, John chapter 19 verse 7. Then finally, they are going to Jesus and saw the people. Then, John 19, 34. John chapter 19, verse 34. But one of his, one of the soldiers with the spirit pierced his side and caught him, came there out of blood and water. 
The Lord was so, uh, they tried to stop it. I said, oh, what are you And they went to it. They crucified him. Now, who do you Later, great people said this. If a Christian is not having tribulation in the world, then there's something wrong. Thomas Watson said, an old Puritan, now Thomas Watson, I can say it. Religion will cost us the tears of repentance. And the blood of persecution. Oh, persecution. Said, yeah, I don't like that. Jason, I don't like that. I didn't sign up for that though. I didn't sign up for that though. I said, I signed up for niceness and happiness. I said, baby, baby. No, no, no. One day you're going to be in heaven for billions of years. I said, that would be all of us right here. While you're down here. You're a soldier for Jesus. And those who step into the battle will be persecuted. So be a warrior. You see, you've got to toughen up. You've got to be tough. You've got to toughen up. Yeah? As a pastor, you will not get a pat on your back. They will not pat you on the back. Oh, my God. 
They just give up. Their hearts are broken. Listen, if you're in ministry, whatever ministry you're in, your heart will break many times. Men that are stood by you will flee. People who you trusted will stab you in the back. It will happen. You get used to it. You made a battle. You are a warrior for Jesus. The final bit of this sermon, and then we'll go to the next one in a minute. Uh, being fruitful in gospel ministry, we preach with our life. John 15. John chapter 15, verse 9 to 17. Verses number 9 to 17. As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Continue ye in my love. 
If ye keep my commandment, ye shall abide in my land, even as I kept, even as I have kept my father's commandment and abide in his land. These things are my spoken unto you, that my joy might be with you, and that your joy might be with you. This is my commandment, that ye love one another as I, I have loved you. Greater love have no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Ye are my friends. If ye do whatsoever I command you, as for I call you to not servant, for the servant doeth not what he is called doing, but I am calling you to friends. For all things that I have heard you, that of my father, I am grateful unto you. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. To be faithful in gospel ministry, the Lord is saying, to be loved, to be loved. Are you standing here? Here you are at the front. Put my hands on you. But I don't care. What is the point of me putting my hand and praying if I don't have my brother practicing? You see, love is important. Love is so important. Listen to this. So many people in the church and in ministry need to experience love that we love one another. If we finish our ministry and they say the pastor loved me, they love me. We've done a good job. I will love you as a minister. I will love you as a minister. We can forget that people are people. And the Lord knows his people by name. They are precious to him. And as pastors and ministers, the people of God are precious to him. So we should love them. Even the ones that get on our nerve. I tell you a story. I was pastoring in the church. And I was in the vestry, prayer room. And this elder came into the prayer room. He was an old man. And he used to run the church. But I was a young pastor. And he didn't like me being the one who ran the church. So he was nasty to me. So we are in the prayer room. And no one could see in the vestry. But he was nasty to me. In the bedroom. I can't hate him. I have to love him. Would you like a cup of tea? Yes, sir. Speaking to him himself. Love is not an option. Love is a command. So let us be loved. But especially to one another. And in ministry we can get so taken up. We try to fill the church with more people. We try to get vision for the church. We just take time to love one another. Love. If you turn, turn to. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 25 to 33. Ephesians 5, 25 to 33. Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians 5, 25 to 33. 
Love you. Ephesians chapter 5, verses number 8. Verse 25. Verses number 25 to 33. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it. That he might sanctify and please it with the washing of water by the way. That he might present it to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So then, love your wives, love your husband. So we don't want to go on here. So it's important that in our family life, so if you're losing your temper, to your husband or your wife, it's not good. And never, it's not to be loving at home. It's not going to be preaching here. I'm preaching, preaching. But I go home. And I say, I lose my temper. And I'm going to love our family. I'm going to love our family. We have to work on our family. When you're in ministry, you the church will ask more and more of you. And time for your family is taken away. It's good as pastors and leaders and church workers. But when you're in ministry, you have to work on your family. You have to work on your family. To have one day with your family. To so, take your wife out for a meal. Say, you're precious. Say, we have a pastor, pastor, come and help me. No, this is my day for my family. And your family comes first before ministry. I've seen pastors and leaders put ministry first. And they neglect their family. No, your priority is first in your family. Show your children, your wife, the love that you need. And that will give power to your ministry. I said, I don't have anything to be at the moment. It's not what we are doing. 1 Corinthians 13. 1 Corinthians 13. 1 Corinthians chapter 13. First Corinthians chapter 13. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become as sounding brass and a tinkling symbol. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understanding all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to the, I give my body to be burned, and have not charity, it profited me nothing. Charity suffered not and is kind. Charity invented not. Charity valided not. Itself is not good art. Should I continue? Uh, finish okay. Okay. Do not behave until uh, uh, simply seek, seek and not and uh, own. Oh, it's not easy to go, they can do evil. Rejoice not in liberty, but rejoice in the truth. Rejoice not in iniquity, but rejoice in the truth. The greatest, the greatest of these things is love. Love is the greatest of these things is love. You turn to 1 John chapter 4, verse 7 and 12. 1 John chapter 4, verse 7 and 12. 1 John chapter 4, verse 7 and 12. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God. He that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. In this was manifested the love of God towards us because that God sent his only begotten Son into the world.